family it's the mobile home diva good morning it's sunday morning march 15th and today is my husband and i's 12 year anniversary and so he had to work last night um and with all of the panic all over the world regarding this virus and all of the recommendations regarding um staying at home refraining from being around people and all of that i decided instead of us going out somewhere um which i always have to plan like stuff like that he he um uh, he's not good at that he just goes along i decided to cook him a nice breakfast all his favorite so I wanted to turn the camera on and just kind of cook with you. I'll show you what I'm doing. I have um, some oatmeal going here. He absolutely loves oatmeal and he doesn't like that instant stuff. Sorry, I'm filming on my phone. He doesn't like that instant stuff. He likes the uh, Quaker Oats and so that is what I'm doing in that pot. And then here, I'm sauteing some onion. I got them nice and caramelized. And now I'm gonna add the sausage. This is beef sausage. And I just cut them in little, in little um, pieces. It's by Eckridge Farm, and it's the beef sausage. So we're gonna let that get like a little grill. You know what I mean? I'm not using butter. I'm using a little water to keep the pan from sticking. And we're going to let it cook in its natural juices. Oh, it smells so good in here. Let it cook in its natural juices. Uh oh. I'm going to cut that pan down to low. They're basically good to go, and I want them to stay warm. My husband's on his way home. Matter of fact, he's got to stop and get me some butter. I'm going to call him and tell him we need cream for the coffee, and then that's it. I'm going to scramble some eggs. We like cheese eggs. And... um. I'm gonna scramble some eggs and um, make him some toast. And he will sleep good. This is his favorite. I went to, um, I visited Sinclair Oconee Homes uh, in Byron, Georgia about a month ago and I've been posting their videos. But yesterday I traveled to Sinclair Oconee Homes in Milledgeville, Georgia. And it's a fairly small lot, but even though it's a small lot, the lot packs a punch. Oh my goodness. They had some beautiful houses out there, y'all. 
If you're watching this video, then I've already posted one, the Prairie Cottage. I, it uploaded late, late last night, and um, I think it's set to for viewers this morning. So you'll probably get this on Monday, um, and it, it would have posted on Sunday. Beautiful home. Um, I was really impressed. When I first got there, I usually walk into a manufactured home place and say, hey, my name is Christy. I'm a YouTuber. I just want to tour your homes. And um, I put them on YouTube as advertisement for you. And they're like, oh, sure, great, fine. Okay, that's fine. But they had a lot of questions. They checked out my channel. All of that was fine. Um, at first, they wanted me to come back and talk to the manager. But um, he asked me some pointed questions about why I was doing it. And I think he appreciated my honesty. And he let me view the home. And when I tell you that all of them were homes worth viewing, really amazing. Now, I'm, you know, homes like the cottage aren't, they're not going to be for everybody, right? Every home is not going to be for everybody, but I appreciate the quality. For instance, the Prairie Cottage that I posted yesterday, you know, the master and the other two guest bedrooms are all on the same hallway and people like separation these days. I grew up in a house where everything was down one hallway and it's fine. It's what you're looking for. So I hope you appreciate all of the videos, even if it's an outer house that you would purchase. It has, they have some real qualities in them, and I'm pretty sure that um, you'll recognize the quality of the home. So, I was really impressed. I just did a lot of stuff, and I wasn't recording. I made the eggs. I made the eggs on and thought I was recording. The toast, everything. I'm sorry, y'all. But, it's okay. I touched the phone. And you know what? I had taken out these fancy plates. I had taken out these fancy plates and I got paper plates. And I was saying in the video, and you guys didn't hear it, that we're not doing anything fancy because all the mayhem that's going on, we're not. There was a restaurant that I wanted to take my husband. We decided, um, I'm not doing these fancy plates. We're not going anywhere to be around a lot of people. He worked last night. He had to work tonight. I'm just going to spoil them a little bit. That's it. Um, I made him breakfast. I'm going to make him dinner. Nothing fancy. Um, I, I already explained this, I thought, to you in the video. But I am... You know, you just can't... I have a small freezer. I don't have space for a deep freezer in here. And neither do we need one. It's just my husband and I. So, I can't buy a whole lot of food. And a lot of times we tend to make a meal that takes half the food in the freezer. Big meals. So, we're just not doing that. Um, we can't just readily get to the grocery store. Um, and then when we do, the things that we're looking for may not be available. So, I'm cooking basic meals, nutritious meals, and that's what we're doing. So, today I'll probably do some yellow rice, grill some shrimp, and make a vegetable. That's it. Nothing big, nothing fancy. I'm making his favorite breakfast. Um, when he comes in, he'll be tired. He has to work tonight again. So I just want him to relax and just enjoy his day. Um, not have to do anything. I'll do it for him. So 
that's what we're doing for our anniversary. 12 years is not a big major one. We had a big thing for our 10 year anniversary. We'll probably have a big thing for 15 or 20, but this anniversary is just gonna be quiet and relaxing, so that's what we're doing. I've been waiting.